guys, Purple Pearl here, and today we're going to be looking at resource packs. Now, um, they're actually very easy to install. It's actually pretty simple, but still some people don't know how to do it, so I'm just going to show you quickly. Now, I will put the link in the description how to uh, come to this website, but you just basically type in Minecraft resource packs, and you'll get tons of websites with resource packs, but I'll put this one in the link in the description. This is pretty much all you're going to need, and percent app data, we've already done that with the mods, as you can remember. And I already know which resource pack I want, so I'm just going to grab this one. And then I'm going to go download it quickly. Come on. Now, I'm sorry about the ads, guys. I can't do anything about that, but here we go. So, then you're going to come to this website. Now, you don't want to take those. Those are dangerous. I would recommend the 64-bit, but if your computer can handle 128, go ahead and go for 1.8 even though we're doing 1.7.10 it still works there's no glitches as far as I'm concerned with 1.7.10 and 1.8 um, resource packs but I haven't tested out other versions but I'll let you know uh, maybe later on and guys if you want if you need help with anything I'll try to explain it to you um I know there's a bunch of problems here and there um, sometimes that you guys experience or so but um, I've learned from experience, so I know how to fix most things here and there. So um, just tell me about it if you're having problems, and I'll try and explain it to you. And I'm sorry about this piece of junk not working. Please wait. All right, now it's just going to download things. So I'm just going to leave it and let it do that. Okay, guys, it's been downloaded. So now you're going to go to Downloads as usual and you're going to search for your resource pack now resource packs can come in many different files um, I'm not going to explain all the files now this one is just um, apparently it's a pop-in file you just pop it in um, now you get other ones where you just have to open the file and take the thing out um, I know that's where some of us fall out as usual because the last time I got a texture pack um, a long time ago, and I'm like, this thing doesn't work. But meanwhile, all I had to do was open it. But this one, as I can see, is um, not an opener, so <laughs> that's what I just call it. So you're going to go again, Windows key and R, and then you're just going to type in percent app data percent, and then you're going to go OK, Minecraft, and then if you look around here, you'll find resource packs. That's where you want to be. Now, make that small put the resource pack in there and you should see they match up it's a composite zip, composite zip, and that's exactly the way you want it so you don't want to open those files then what you're going to do is obviously launch minecraft and try and open it I'm just going to cancel all these files here and sorry about the background noises and all that so I'm going to uh, go and just uh, no I'm not going to go forge I'm just going to Actually, let's play it on Forge. I just want to test this. So, now we are on Minecraft. Now, before you go anywhere, you can either go to Options and Resource Packs. Now, let's search for it. And there it is. Uh, now, another way, if you're really lazy and you don't want to do percent app data thing, I respect that. <laughs> you just go to here and open file, and then you just go to your desktop and drag the file in. So, that's an easier way of doing it, but I just do it normally because, yeah it doesn't really matter so then you're gonna apply it like that and if you don't want to apply just put it back like that now I've got a bunch of resource packs here um, so I'm gonna show you this one quick just really quick I'm just I'm not gonna show different blocks I'm just gonna do a quick preview to show you this works see the texture over here has changed and I love the front cover now let's just go into a new world oh wait no uh, sorry create a new world then uh, creative create and it's gonna load it as normally and then it's just gonna retexture everything that's the point of texture packs it's still the same it just retextures everything nothing changes only the texture so don't freak out if you don't like things being changed because nothing is changed here it's just the texture I like my inventory space and everything okay sorry the world's loading um, let me just do this to make it go quicker um, so then you're gonna fly up and remember this texture is really good so it could also be that reason that it's laggy and as you can see the sheep look different here's my inventory this diamond sword looks different the iron sword 
I like the texture on this one, it's kind of cool. And then the wool blocks even look different. So, texture packs doesn't change your skin, that's good. Un uh, unless you keep your skin the Steve skin, then it might change it. Um, as far as I've experienced. So as you can see, all the stuff are retextured. I prefer using texture packs, don't try and retexture a Minecraft. Are these supposed to be Pokemon balls? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Didn't actually notice that one first. So, I hope this helped you. Now, remember, this works the same for every resource pack. But remember, some of the resource packs... Um, sorry about that. Some of the resource packs, you have to open the file and dr uh, drag it out. Uh, be sure to check that. And most of them, you just plop in. So thanks for watching, I hope this helped you. If you are having problems with this, please contact me or just leave a message and I'll try and help you with that. And I'll see you guys next time.